Alexa, and Miss Gideon, I don't know. I'm supposed to introduce myself as. Call me Mr. Myers. Or Mr. Rogers, however you prefer. Um, so we're going to talk about the causes of the American Revolution in preparation for reading a novel called My Brother Sam is Dead, which is a historical fiction novel set during the American Revolution. So, so we're talking a lot about uh, the Enlightenment ideas that went to the Declaration of Independence, and we're talking about those ideas that led up to that. Um, so we'll just start off right here. We're going to need a lot of participation. So if anyone wants to come at any time and interact, then that'd be great. If not, we will call people. We'll be those people. All right, so we're starting off with the Stamp Act. What can anyone tell me about the Stamp Act that they already know from just using private knowledge? <laughs> it's where they had to put stamps on things. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Nolan. It was a tax on anything made from paper. Okay. So what, how about somebody come up here and just kind of follow the directions and we'll reveal some of the things that were included in this. Uh, Nolan, you want to come up here? Can you answer that question? You want to come up here and then just follow these directions and reveal what? Here. It says pull the arrows to find out about the stamp pad. So, so oh, all three. Playing cards, newspapers, and of course stamps. So these are all the things that were put a tax on. So if someone just told you um, you need to take notes, but you need to pay for each piece of paper that you use to take notes, how that make you feel? That's fair. So do you think that like letter writing and stuff like that kind of decreased during this time? Okay. Kind of going along with that, another act is the Tea Act. Okay, so the Tea Act put what, tax on tea, tea obviously. Mm -hmm. And that was a huge thing for the colonies because the colonies were, you know, there was a majority of uh, people from England there. So tea was important to them. So anytime they had tea, they were taxed. Um, does anybody want to take an eraser and erase away the answer? Well, to show the answer. Ricky does. Come on up. Erase the stamp first. And then why don't you read everything out after you erase it? Right. Do it after? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the Tea Act gave the East India Company a complete monopoly on tea in the colonies. This meant that they were the only ones who were allowed to sell tea to colonists. This made many colonists upset because they would be paying the tax on tea instead of the company. Thank you. So in the novel that we would be reading, My Brother Sam is Dead, it focuses around uh, this family, the Meekers, in Redding Ridge, Connecticut, and they own a tavern. And so these taxes, um, you really see the effect of it that they have in that novel because they're constantly going through financial struggles when they were once at least very flourishing, but during all these taxes, they really started struggling to get what they need, such as tea and rum and all the other sort of things that you have at a tavern. So. All right, Rebellion. Who's heard of the Boston Tea Party? Ben, do you want to give me a little rundown of what that was? Yeah, um, pretty much the uh, Sons of Liberty gathered um, gathered together one night, dressed up as, well, some of them dressed up as Native Americans, boarded a ship and dumped the tea, tea from the ships into the Boston Harbor. And that was to rebel against what? The ETA. Okay. Um, someone want to come up here and read us, follow these little instructions of the down and read us those little facts. <coughs> I think that Zach does. Come on, Zach. Come on, Zach. So much fun, though. You get to pull. You get to pull down information. Pull a little further. There you go. All right, you want to read that one for me? Um, the Stand Back and the T-Axe many colonists because they were having to pay more money to me. Boo. Boo. Boo Britain. And this led many colonists to open a rebellion. Um, and this, the Boston Tea Party did happen in Charleston. And I, I know there's like a joke today that they, like Great Britain still sends us a bill for all the tea that we threw in at the harbor. So at least they have a good sense of humor, I guess. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the intolerable X. So who wants to come up here first and kind of reveal this, and then we'll talk about the intolerable X. Megan? Yep. So you will drag this over there, and you'll drag the white over here. Wow. Yay. Pretty. Magic. <laughs> yes, it's such a good job. Thanks. <laughs> um, the Massachusetts Government Act put um, that government under British control, which if you're in your own colony, you don't want to be controlled. Like, you want your own government. This was the beginning of the fight for independence and wanting to um, govern themselves. And then the Quartering Act, <coughs> British troops were allowed to stay in colonist homes. So I don't know how you feel about some soldiers, you know, coming over from Russia or something like that. They could just be allowed to stay in your home right now. I don't think you'd like that. Um, along with the Quartering Act, too, in the novel, uh, there's an example where the British troops or the Continental troops, whoever was in the town at the time, would just come in and stay at the tavern. They would eat whatever they wanted. They wouldn't pay for anything. So it really shows you, like, how it affected the citizens during that time, no matter whose side they were on. If they were supporting the colonists or if they were supporting the patriots, both sides of the army reaped the benefits and caused pain for the citizens. Um, so along with over there, the Boston Port Act uh, closed Boston's port after the Boston Tea Party. Like along in the novel, there's also, you, you see a lot of, they had a hard time getting uh, their materials, so they would have to go even farther to different ports, to different places to get uh, their goods because things like this were the uh, ports were closed. So. The Administration of Justice Act uh, gave the governor of Massachusetts the right to move trials. Do you want to talk about that? Um, it's basically like it didn't make trials fair. You could do basically whatever you wanted. They could. It's kind of like they already decided who was guilty or whatever by the trial. They didn't really give a fair trial. So that kind of ties in with the uh, when they wrote the Declaration of Independence, wanting to free. Okay, this one's kind of fun. Um, so, can a volunteer come up to move the magnifying glass to reveal the answers? Christine. <laughs> do you want to read it as oh. over? Yeah. Do so, Lots of fun stuff. Britain passed the Intolerable Act because of the events like, um, the Boston Tea Party. I feel like, am I doing this wrong? <laughs> I think it's just weird. All right. Oh, no, so. you took away the magic <laughs> glass. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a problem. It's going to ruin everything. Lock. 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 Oh, it's already locked. Lock in place. Lock in place. Lock in place. Uh, <laughs> just move that, move the molecule. Yeah, there oh, we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're thinking. So, Many colonists believed that these acts violated their rights. This led the colonists to form the first Continental, <laughs> Continental Congress. Congress, which voted to boycott British goods. Nice job. Thanks. Right, what does the word boycott mean? <laughs> Oh, what that means like to refuse to buy. Okay, so they were trying to ruin the British economy by not buying any more of their stuff. And while that was, you know, it was a way of helping the Continentals move towards rebelling and creating the country that we live in now, it was really hard on the citizens because if they wanted the thing, I mean, they were so used to all of these these items, and then all of a sudden they couldn't have them because of these acts. So it was really hard for them, you know, no matter who they supported, like I said before, which is a huge thing on that novel. And then finally, the Declaration of Independence. Um, we'll just do this one, I think. Yeah. But um, tensions continued to rise between Britain and the colonists because of all these taxes. And they decided to form then, because the first one didn't work out so well, the Second Continental Congress. And this Congress approved the Declaration of Independence on July 4th. Answer. Year. 1776. Yay! And who was it written by? Thomas Jefferson. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Let's go, Lori. <laughs> All right. So.
At least your social studies major. Right, so let's see if we can um, get these answers before we reveal the answers. So Slide the girl on the left. Britain, <laughs> we'll get there. Britain has two acts that outraged the colonists. These acts were the... Stand back. Okay. And? T.A. Yeah. 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 Well, that, okay, that works too. Yeah. Okay. After these acts were passed, colonists rebelled at events like the Boston, Boston Tea Party. Party. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these events caused Britain to pass the something. Which took her away from the colonies. And the colonists then met at the second Continental Congress, Congress and passed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1977. 1776, I'm sorry. I was joking. Whee! Stick around. Well, it looks like we have everything correct. Too soon. So, the whole point of this is to kind of get an idea of what the people in the colonies, not the soldiers, not the leaders, but what the people in the colonies were experiencing during this time to kind of give you a little context as to what's going to be seen in the novel, because it's focusing on the people in the novel that were living in the colonies, not soldiers or someone in the war. And just like to kind of give a little context, this would be something you could um, co-teach with the language arts. Like if you're on teams or something and you want to co-teach, um, like if I was doing the American Revolution, he was doing that, this would be a good way to um, coordinate lessons so that students are getting the most of the content. So that's kind of why we chose this. So. That's it. Yeah.